there, my name is Neandra, this is competitive overwatch at around 2700 SR, this is an alt account placement and it's kind of a one sided win. Um, I wanted to talk over it anyway because it shows some of the things you can get away with at plat if you're confident and aggressive. I also fucked up quite a lot and made a few mistakes. Hello fellow gamers. So immediately I push forward with the DPS rather than sticking back. I love playing this sort of aggression while attacking, even if the DPS is someone Mercy doesn't normally pocket. Say Genji, Tracer, Doomfist, you know, high mobility characters. Hello! I play from the back corner, which is solid positioning, but I don't move forward for my injured ally out of range, nor do I ask them to come closer. Reinhardt dies, and he almost certainly didn't have to, I basically just let it happen. I also may have been able to get away with rezzing him while floating in the pit. Genji proceeds to attack me over the next 20 seconds or so, but I basically ignore it because my allies are giving me good spread out fly paths. Plus we completely fucked up the rest of his team, like even if Genji had killed me here we probably would have been fine. I damage boost our hurt Doomfist while he kills Moira, then heal after it's confirmed. We have enough picks to position this aggressively in the first place and she's not really burst damage. Baron Soldier. I then note the enemy team has changed to Farah and Soldier. At this sort of rank, Mercy and Valk can be a great counter against her, especially if the enemy team is running Anna or Moira because they can't heal her too easily. But yeah, there were a few times in these alt account placements where I would Valk just to kill Farah, or you know, I'd be like, okay, I'll use Valk once they push in to kill her. I think it's a fine usage, you just need to be quick. How's your thing? I have empowered you. Just how I like it. Heilstrahl activated. Kevlar shoddy. Oh, we use the the grab. I damage boost Reaper through his ult instead of healing him, despite him being low. I do this because of the lifesteal he gets from the damage output and the Zarya bubble. I look at the Skinfist corpse and I'm like, we have a lot of picks and I'm feeling fucking spicy. I would never make this sort of play at GM, but on an ult I am more open to dumb shit. So the res is successful and then afterwards my ally retreats appropriately, but I kind of fall behind because I want the health kit. I take out the pistol to try and get Valk so I can glide away quickly with health regen, but the Genji reflect denies me that last chunk of ult charge. So yeah, that last death was completely my own fault and definitely preventable, even with the res and a reminder that I shouldn't get too arrogant or sloppy. I then Valk to get back from spawn quicker, but with Reinhardt dead and two allies critical as I leave spawn, my judgement to do so was poor. This Valk was wasted and kind of a dumb play on my part. I then try to take out Farah who's orbed and my aim is bad, so meh. If you do go after someone as Mercy, I think you need to be able to gauge within the first second of firing if you're actually going to be able to confirm the kill or not. Still be careful of the fire. Rosie, look how good he's behind him! Oh, just solo. Let's get you this way. Oh, thank you so much, Mercy. Best round one. Good work, everyone. Score two, one, one. Once again, we push up with the fastest moving and most aggressive DPS. Plus, the elevator in this area allows me to make full use of Angelic Descent. Positioning briefly sucks as I walk through a crowd, but thankfully no one notices. 
Reaper moves in a curve, and I know he's going to attack me once out of Wraith form. I aim to time his uncloak animation with my Guardian Angel Fly. For starters, god bless that Lucio for peeking and giving me that fly path. Second of all, I love floating above enemies and rezzing from above. The enemy team is just kind of ignoring me, even though I'm pretty close to them. When the enemy team has Mercy, remember you can physically see her beam attached to people, and that should be used to find her position. There was a post on r slash mercy mains about how you can almost treat Valkyrie like a cooldown because of how fast it charges, and I thought that was super interesting. I primarily damage boost, but swap to healing as an ally gets significantly hurt. I do this as I fly to res a corpse. I then focus on pistoling soldier while my allies position right and leave my camera view. Reinhardt dies and he almost certainly didn't have to if I had been more aware of my team. Battle Mercy is fun, but I need to not tunnel vision. Damage increased. I'm even stronger. I need healing. Summer time. Summer resistance. Oh, let's break it. it. No. I'm not. Watch your back. My healing spell is upon you. Get into position. Get them off me. I was too eager to immediately pop Valkyrie upon getting it, and this one was definitely pretty weak. Both teams were split up, so I didn't really get any value until the damage boost in the last half. I go to attack Soldier while I still have some airtime, but immediately get hit with Helix Rocket, so I duck out. Thankfully the Sombra is in front of me, and I'm not in her view. Mercy and I are on fire. This is not the Goblin. I'm not finished. <laughs> Casting a healing spell. <sighs> Death Blossom is ready. Oh, 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 time to accelerate! I get hit by the soldier ult and reposition to the enemy spawn side to dodge it. <laughs> this res was ugh. Two allies are dead, and I do it as Reinhardt charges forward into damage. I guess I wanted to keep our point presence going and try to contest till 99. Really though, whatever play I did here was irrelevant because we're then hit with alt spam. At some point, I wouldn't mind making a video on most common mistakes made at plat, and poor alt management would probably be number one. Here, the enemy capped the point, but they used almost every ult they have to do so. For our next push, they can only have McCree ult while we have Zarya and nearly Ryan and Mercy. In situations like this, the enemy team would have to play just so- uh, both aggressively and safely. Like, they'd have to constantly pick us off before we got to the road and were able to use our ults. Anyway, we then pick off an enemy immediately, which basically means they're fucked, so I activate Valkyrie as soon as I get it. Let's go! Right beside you. Fuck I'm out of here. Yeah, good job BMing the plat player, you fucking prick. Easy. I found her. Oh, let's break it. So yeah, there we go. I do plan to look at some more Diamond and Below games, because I feel there is a lot to say and a lot of advice to give. Feel free to join my Discord where I'm taking a few VOD requests a week. Thanks for watching and I'm super sorry for the lack of uploads lately, like I've just had so much garbage going on. Um, I do have some content lined up and I'm eager to get back into it. Have a nice day.